So now we have the combination formula. If you remember, I had been constantly reiterating that combination always precedes a permutation. Now to understand, to derive the formula of combination from we, are, we can apply what we learned in permutation, right? Let's take the example of uh, the case of three letters you are selecting out of nine letters. So you are arranging them. What are the ways and so it is going to be your selecting and arranging. Right, so that means it is going to be 9p3, which is going to be 9 factorial, which is 9 into 8, into 7, into 6, into 5, into 4, into 3, into 2, into 1. So this involves selecting and upon 9 minus 3 factorial, that is 6 factorial, that is 6 into 5, into 4, into 3, into 2, into 1. Now, out of this, if you see, if you divide this whole thing, now this involves, remember that 9p3 involves selecting all these ones, that is the selecting the three letters, and arranging them. But suppose you dispense off with the order in which you have arranged them. That means what are the various ways. Suppose you picked up three letters. Out of these, you have picked up three letters. So you can arrange them in three factorial ways. That is three into two into one factorial ways. If you know that, if you remember, these are the ways in which this one, the three letters that you have picked up that have been arranged. So suppose you divide this by 3 factorial. So if you divide this by 3 factorial, what you have actually done is that you have selected and arranged them and divided by the different number of ways you are arranged. So it is like selecting and arranging them and divided by the number of ways you arranged, it's simple ways, it means ultimately it only means a selection. So that means, it means that 9p3 by 3 factorial is nothing but 9c3. That means the total number of ways you have arranged all the three ones and the various ways of selecting, arranging, and then you divide it by the number of ways you have arranged. Ultimately, it leads to only you have picked up, say for example, you have A, B, C. And these three letters can be arranged in six different ways. C, B, A, A, C, B, like this. So suppose you have picked up these three letters. There are six ways in which you have arranged. But all these six ways, ultimately, if the order is not important, it is only one way. So if you apply this over here, all the six ways in which you have picked up these letters, all of them ultimately one way. So this involves all these arrangements. When you divide it by three factorial, ultimately all the different arrangements of the same three letters will ultimately lead to only one arrangement, one selection basically. Let's not call it arrangement. Once you have converted all of these to only one single, which is same as telling it's a combination. So in short, a combination that is 9C3 is equal to 9P3 upon 3 factorial. In simple words, it means NCR, if we apply, is nothing but NPR upon R factorial. In other words, NCR is nothing but N factorial upon N minus R factorial upon R factorial. So in this also, it tells us that the number of combinations will always be 1 by r times the number of permutation. The number of combinations is just involving selection. When you divide the number of selections by the number of arrangements of each of the terms that you selected, hence 
you when you multiply that when you multiply the number of selection with the number of ways you arrange the selection you get the permutation hence when you divide the number of permutations by the number of ways in which each of the selected terms have been arranged you get the combination so in short ncr is n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial this could be a slightly uh, difficult thing so we will just go through this once more let's take the example of selecting three letters out of nine and arranging them to form words so that can be done nine p3 ways which is going to be nine factorial by nine minus three factorial that is this part but this also involves the number of ways in which each of the three terms that you picked up is divided is arranged so it involves means it is multiplied so basically this involves selecting Suppose you selected three, and then you each of those three can be arranged in three factorial ways. So if you divide it by three factorials, with dispensing of with the different ways of arranging it, and you're converting all the different ways of arranging the same three letters into one single selection. So when you divide it, it's it's no longer nine p three. It is nine p three by three factorial. But this involves only selecting. the three things which is the same as a combination so in short 9p3 by 3 factorial is the same as 9c3 or npr by r factorial is ncr or ncr is always n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial so this is how we have the formula for combination how we derive it is that right okay